business plan. What is a business plan? A business plan is exactly that, a plan for your business. It's a roadmap that guides you, directs you to where you wanna go with your business. So the first part of the business plan is the cover page. The cover page is really simple. It only has two things on it. I said two and put up one, I know that. <laughs> so, okay, so it has two things on it, right? There's name of your company and there's a logo. If you don't have a logo, you can get some sort of picture or emblem or anything and use that for your logo until you can get one made. So put a logo there, put the name of your company and sometimes people even put who uh, prepared the business plan, if it's you or a friend or whoever's doing it, okay? Now, the first real page or the second page maybe is the executive summary. The executive summary is where you talk about who you are as a business, who your company is, where you want to go. It's the overall of everything. So typically, although it's the first thing that you see, it's an amalgamation of everything that's in the plan. And um, it's usually done at the end, then placed in the beginning. OK, I hope am amalgamation is a word because that sounds like something I've heard. Before. <laughs> that part you said in yeah, the I, plan. Who knows? But anyway. Yeah, I think it's a word, and I think it means what I use it for, but I'm not sure. Let's keep it going. Now, the next section is called the company description. The company description uh, provides information on what you should do, uh, what differentiates your business from others, and the markets you serve. Now, what you need to do here is you need to describe, you know, the fact that it's a production company. Maybe you want to get into a little bit more detail as far as if you're doing uh, wedding videography, if you're doing event videography, you know, whatever exact sports, whatever you're doing, that's what you want to kind of focus on. Um, you want to explain, you know, kind of what the market is and how your product is going to service, you know, the market that it's in. If you live in a, a big sports town, that's what you want to state. Uh, you know, you list all the organizations and consumers and things of that nature. Explain why uh, what you're providing is going to be better than the others. What's your competitive advantage? And now the next section is the service or the product line. Give a detailed definition of what you're selling, what you're doing, and what the price is. You know, one of the reasons that this is very important is because, yes, you have it in your business plan, but guess what? Once you get into making a website or all this information is going to come in handy. This is part of the reason why you're doing a business plan, because you will need all of this information for future endeavors or future parts of your business, whether it be investors, whether it be websites, whether it's just talking or giving a pitch to someone for whatever reason you may want. Now, the next section is called organization and management. And what that is, is a description of your company as far as the structure of it. You may be a sole proprietor, so you're the only person in your company. And maybe you want to specify that, you know, if you hire anyone else is going to be under a contractor role. Or maybe if you're married, you want to use your spouse as a co-owner or, you know, whatever position that you want to give them. You, all, you want to state all of the positions that people have, and you also want to state any advantages that you or special skills that you may have um, as far as education or why you'd be qualified to do the position that you do. Again, this is great for potential investors or if you want to add um, any partners at a later date, they have an idea of what the company already has while it's in. Now, the next part is called the market analysis. And what that is, is it's an overall view of the market. You basically want to define, you know, what's going on in your local area as it pertains to what you do in your video business. So if you're a wedding business, you want to talk about, you know, how many weddings go on a year and how you want to attack that market or how do you want to attach yourself to that customer, how you plan on winning the customers um, who are getting married uh, and, and or maybe if it's a football game, football games, if you're doing sporting uh, videography, you want to say that, hey, this is a sp football town. You know, there's over a thousand football games per year in this town alone. And this is what I'm going to cater to. And then you want to um, mention how you want to cater to that. You know, any specific insight information or any marketing plans or tools or anything like that like that, that you want to explain. You just express that here. Now, part of this market analysis um, would include a SWOT analysis. I'm not sure if you're familiar with what a SWOT analysis is, but uh, it's, a, it's an acronym. SWOT, S-W-O-T. It's an acronym for uh, your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and uh, threats. Uh, 
specify exactly what those are. You want to understand the market and what's going on. So you want to know your strength. Where are you strong at? What do you know that's going to help you uh, succeed in a business? So maybe you're a military veteran. You know, that's that would be considered a strength. Maybe you know a, a second language or you're maybe if you're Asian or you have some sort of cultural advantage in that market, you want to specify that. If you had a previous job that would allow you more connections in what you do, I kind of mentioned the coach before. If you used to be a, a high school football coach, then now if you're getting into this videography business and you're getting into where a sport videography, then that may be a strength that you have. So you have weaknesses. A lot of people don't want to specify what their weaknesses are, but you have to, or you should, you know. And the weaknesses could be maybe you're limited in equipment. You know, if you're just starting your business, obviously you're not going to have a whole lot of equipment um, at hand initially. So that might be a weakness is that, you know, you're relatively limited when it comes to that. Uh, the saturation of the market. Everybody has a T3I, everybody has a camera, and everybody's a videographer because it's such an easy market to get into, okay? so. One of the weaknesses is that there's a lot of other people that do the same exact thing as you. Uh, portfolio. Maybe another weakness could be a limited portfolio. You don't have a whole lot of stuff that you can show people offhand. Don't worry about that because the next thing we're going to get to is the opportunities. Now, opportunities are chances to advance or to fix any weaknesses that you may have. OK, so it's a chance to build a portfolio. One of the things is that you said you might have a limited portfolio, but you have the chance to build a, a portfolio. Um, you have a chance to build a language or cultural customer base. One of the things we talked about with strength is that maybe you have a language or a cultural advantage. So you can use that as your advantage and use that opportunity to get more customers. You're going to gain more customers because maybe you speak Spanish or maybe you're of Puerto Rican descent, you know, and that's what your neighborhood or your local area primarily consists of. So that would give you uh, great opportunities in that uh, area or that niche market. You also get maybe the chance to build uh, previous connections. And when I say that, it's like I said, if you were perhaps a, a high school football coach, you know, you know, all the coaches, maybe in a, in a district or whatever your section or a local area is called, you know all of them. So you have those connections and you can use those connections and turn those into customers, you know, whether it be the schools, whether it be directly with the coaches or even some of the parents, maybe, you know. And the last thing is the threats. Um, the threats is what will restrict you from possibly doing or what could possibly restrict you from doing your job? You know, I don't know, maybe if you're doing wedding videography and you like to use drones or you want to use drones, there's some restrictions possibly in your local neighborhood or local area on where you cannot use drones. Maybe many of the local parks where most people have their weddings, they can't have drone footage. So that would be um, a threat. Another thing could be maybe you're in Florida by full sale with all the students for full sale. <laughs> Or right in your area, and they're probably doing them for cheap or maybe nothing, low prices. And it's going to be hard to get into that market because you're competing with people who are, you know, just trying to learn and do internships, which is nothing wrong with that. It's a great thing to do, but it's just hard if you're trying to build a business in that same area. That would be considered as a threat, you know, something that you need to work around. Now, the next part is the financial plan. Has your company been given money already? And if so, you need to state that there. Also, you need to state if you're looking for investors or you're looking for money, you want to state one, how much you're looking for, why you need that amount and why the investor should be sure that you're going to make enough of that money back to give them a profit. Because obviously, if you're borrowing money from people, they're going to want a little bit more profit. Now, when doing a financial plan, you want to make sure you use as many graphs and information as you can. OK, people love pictures. You want to put that in there so they can see exactly what's going on, how much of the pie they're going to get, how much you're charging. You give charts, you do whatever you need to do to make it visual as possible and make it as seamless as possible for someone who wants to give you money and let them know that you will be able to give it back. Plus, some. of what is your plan for each step of your business, whether it be the next year or the next five years, a lot of times with business plans and when people are 
purchase and they want to know what your five year plan is. So if you can put at least for yourself to know what you're going to do over this next year and then, uh, you know, what you're going to do over maybe a five year period, that would also be a great thing to do. You also want to know how much money you need to invest as well as what would make you break even and how you plan on getting to that area. You know, once you have all of that, you're pretty much done. Now you have all the parts of the business plan so you can go back to the executive summary. Now the executive summary is going to consist of everything that we just did and we put together all in a summary. <laughs> Simple as that. You want to have a mission statement and or a slogan. So your mission is what do you prim- what are you primarily going to do? What is your company about? Are we all about hiring or catering to veterans? Are we all about catering to Hispanics or are we all about catering to the Asian community? Whatever it is, you want to have a mission statement. Are you all about catering to uh, budget people with low budgets or small budgets? Are you all about doing high class or upper echelon type stuff? Whatever you want to do, this is where you want to state it. You want to state it as your mission statement um, and you want to give a whole summary of all of the things that we've accumulated, all of the information that we've got. And that is a business plan. So once you have this business plan, you use it and you update it periodically. Uh, You use it for many things, such as building a website. You want to use it for, like I said, getting investors. You want to use it for any type of thing where you would need any information. You already have it laid out. You you don't have to rewrite this stuff. When you have to write about your business, if they say, you know, well, what kind of business do you have? Or anybody's requesting any information on you. You already have it written in this wonderful business plan. (laughs) 